Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new Film Photography Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about a great little point and shoot, which is the Canon AF35M. Before I start this video, I'm going to remind you that the link to my Patreon is down below in the description. Uh, if you want to donate the value of a roll of film, I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, make sure that you're subscribed so that you always see the latest Film Photography Fridays. So, I'm sorry that this video is going out a bit late. The reason that it's going out late is because I actually wanted to do a video on the Konica Hexar, as I said, two weeks ago uh, when I did the Contax G1 video but for some reason sadly that camera still hasn't arrived and the shipping company that's sending that because it's coming from Australia that company is saying that they can't investigate it until later on next week so yeah it's gonna be a while more before I get that Konica Hexar video out and that camera was meant to be here almost two weeks ago uh, so I kind of planned that I'd spend last week shooting that video and shooting it with black and white film with Tri-X 400 um, so I didn't really get a chance to properly plan for a different video yet uh, I thought about doing one on the Contax G1 with the 21mm f2.8 lens which is this one here but I hadn't shot enough with it yet um, and I didn't have time either to get them developed that quickly so that's gonna have to wait for another few weeks as well so then I started thinking back like what camera have I used a lot that I haven't done a video on yet and the Canon AF35M sprang to mind when I first started doing film photography I first used the Practica Super TL 1000, which I picked up at a flea market in Germany a few years ago for, I think was it 15 euro, something crazy low. And I kind of sh tried shooting with that. It didn't really go great. And then I restarted this year, shot a bit with that. And I messed up the first roll of film by just complete idiocy just by me being an idiot and then I kind of enjoyed shooting it afterwards I faced exactly the problem with that camera as I was trying to get away from by starting shooting film so the thing I wanted to get away from was having to carry loads of different lenses for a camera with me the whole time uh, I wanted something simple something that I could just get like behind the scenes shots and holiday shots when I'm out and about rather than having to bring the a7r3 and the like 24 105 lens and the 35 1.4 lens and a few other lenses that are all really heavy and at the time I still had my Canon 70 to 200 so I kind of just didn't want to bring Sony with me as much and I also just wanted something different that I could just shoot with easily and bring it with me and enjoy it and not have to worry about editing it in Lightroom the day that I shoot it so that I can upload it to Instagram tomorrow and when I started thinking about it more me buying another SLR wasn't really going to be the answer to that. So I bought this, which is probably the most 80s looking camera that you can get. It is the Canon AF35M. It's an autofocus camera and it has a 38mm f2.8 lens on it. And it's a pretty nice camera, I have to say. This is not actually the one that I initially bought. The one I initially bought had a broken film door latch on the back and I shot with that for ages. I absolutely love shooting with it. There's something really cool and really different about it. And I could set the ISO on the front here. So I shot a lot of kind of color plus 200 and I shot all of that at ISO 100. So that it's a stop overexposed. And I really enjoyed shooting with that. And I should, shot a good bit of Fuji C200 through it as well. Um, the thing I loved about shooting this was the fact that I had a 2.8 lens, but also that when I focused it, when I half pressed the shutter and I focused, I could kind of get a rough idea of what it's trying to focus on, um, which you can't do with some other cameras. So if I'm focusing on a person in front of me, it's going to show me the little picture of one person. Or if I'm trying to focus on infinity, it's going to show me the picture of mountains inside in the bottom of the viewfinder I've talked about this before when I was talking about the L35 by Nikon which is basically the Canon's competitor um, and it's something I really like about both of these cameras going back to the Canon there's something I just like about the way it's designed it's just boxy it's kind of like it's kind of just awkward in how it's designed um, it feels nice in the hand though but it's just big awkward and but I brought this thing everywhere with me. Uh, I brought it like if I was going on nights out and everything, I just had it in my pocket. And because it's a plastic point and shoot, I didn't mind if it did get broken. If it were to get broken, I wouldn't have minded. Um, the autofocus on this is pretty good. The lens is pretty sharp. It's probably about as sharp as 
the Nikon one is it has a pop-up flash so rather than with the Nikon you have to put your finger down here over the light meter for it to be able to see that the flash should be engaged so that's how you kind of trick the flash to coming up here you can just click the switch and the flash comes up um, it's pretty simple so it goes from ISO 25 up to ISO 400 and has a self timer it actually has a pre-focus as well which I never actually used and the thing about this that I learned really early on was if you are shooting street with this the best way to do it is to shoot the picture hold the shutter and walk away and then release the shutter and then it rewinds afterwards because the rewinding on this is really really damn loud um, other than that it's a pretty simple camera so I would really recommend getting one of these. I tried my luck at getting the AF35M Mark II to follow on from this, and both of them, I think I even ordered three of them, and all three of them arrived broken. Um, so I don't know if they were just dodgy sellers or if the Mark II isn't as reliable. I have now ordered another AF35M Mark II with the with the telephoto and the wide angle lens conversion kit so basically you screw on a wide angle lens onto the camera and you also have kind of like goggles that go in front of this that you may have seen um kind of like as some like as have them with the dual range Summicron, i think the dual range 50 mil has like goggles that go in front of the viewfinder basically shows you a wider field of view um other than that yeah it's just about as 80s and about as plasticky as it gets. It is the direct competitor to the Nikon L35. It's a small bit bigger. It's a small bit bigger, um, but I weirdly feel like this feels more premium than the AF L35 AF2. I don't know what it is. It's just, maybe it's just the, the angled edges, the more angled edges on this, but it does feel a bit nicer, but it's a, it's only a tiny bit nicer um, rewind on top and there's nothing really else to this it doesn't have a DX code reader set the ISO manually light meter is pretty good I feel like personally it does tend to underexpose a small bit hence why I always left it on ISO 100 so that it actually would overexpose the film by a stop to make up for that because negative film has the has the latitude of being able to being able to kind of retain a lot of details in the highlights so even if I did overexpose by maybe two stops it would still be okay um, so that's the one kind of word of caution with this is do shoot it overexposed do set the ISO to maybe a stop over and yeah enjoy shooting with it um, definitely would recommend this and as I said f2.8 lens there is a version of this that has a 1.9 lens it's called the AF35 ML they're a bit harder to get uh, I don't think they look as nice as in terms of how the body looks um, and the 1.9 lens it actually stops it down for almost all conditions so you never actually get to use the 1.9 so I'd save the cash and I'd get this instead yeah and that's pretty much all for this camera I'm gonna show you the results in just a moment and leave you make your minds up whether you like this camera or not before I leave you please make sure to subscribe check out the patreon link down below in the description as well and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the in the comment section as well what you want me to cover next uh, if you enjoyed this video please share it with others like it and also check out my Instagram to see what I'm up to now what cameras I'm shooting with and to see other pictures from the cameras that I am shooting at the moment yeah thank you so much for watching enjoy these results these were all shot on Fuji C200 enjoy and see you next week bye bye